This is the ProfiPress PPCT60. Um, this press has faster advanced speeds than our PPCM versions. It has a main piston and four guide columns. Two of the columns are uh, hydraulically driven. Uh, both the bolster table, the base table, and then the slide table have the DIN 650T slots in them. Once again, um, if you have a bespoke configuration for your dies, we can accommodate that and we can make custom tables. Comes with a pendant that is on wheels, uh, dual palm buttons, and then it has a nice buyer control on it. Uh, easy selection mode right on the control panel for automatic and manual mode. The side curtains are withdrawn at the moment. That uh, is to demonstrate the ease of loading uh, tooling, dies, any jigs or fixtures that you may have. Uh, within those side curtains, there are photo cells for safety. Like any other machine, to turn it on, you use the main switch. Within the cabinet, you have network ability, either by a uh, wired connection, a CAT 5, 6, 6E, 7, whatever you have, and also by uh, Wi-Fi. Come on, when it comes on, the press goes through a series of checks. The warning light comes on. And then you are able to Select your language, which is English here in the UK, of course. BNet Profi Press is a Dutch company. They have the option of having Dutch on there. It's indicating that there's alarms at the moment. That's because the, as you can see here, it's linking a warning on the front. That's because I have the side curtains withdrawn and the, and the photo cells aren't able to register. I've now brought the side curtains forward. And you can see all the warnings have disappeared. On this press also, you have a variety of modes you can select. Either to the left is uh, manual mode or off to the right is automatic mode. And as you turn the switch, you can see the respective light uh, illuminates. You have the start button there that only works when you're in zero, in the, in the position zero, that's a safety feature. Once again, you got foreman's keys. Once you get all set up, you can remove those keys and nobody can change the parameters um, or settings, whatever you may have. You can select, you got manual mode and automatic mode for setting parameters. In the manual mode, uh, you're able to do your setups. So that means that all these safety features are deactivated and it operates at a speed limit of 13 millimeters per second. Uh, that's the maximum. You can slow it down if you want, but you can't go any faster. Throws up in air. You can change your stroke. The max on this press, the stroke is 300. You can see it's easy to uh, it's easy to enter the parameters. There's an alarm coming up at the moment. Pressure filter, that's just going through some more checks. That'll clear off. All right, cleared now. I'm gonna go into automatic mode. And each, each program has these settings that can be programmed. Uh, the actual position is showing at minus three at this point. That'll, um, that can be calibrated and corrected with, and it will correct itself with time as the hydraulics uh, warm up. The upper limit is where it returns to. The slow down position is where it go, you know, throws itself into working mode. And 300 is the ultimate stroke position. So it'll start at zero, go to 280. Advance all the way to 300, then return back up to zero. Over here, you have the uh, the advanced speed. You can change that. 
down to, well, here it's saying it's between 30 and 110. I entered 25, so I'll enter 30. Right? Now I can change it back to 110. Uh, that's your working speed. You can choose how fast you want to work. When it throws in the uh, working speed, this is your actual speed when the um, when the press is in action, and then you can select your tonnage. So for this cycle, I'm going to put the machine into automatic mode. As you can see now that the automatic light is lit. I'm gonna come back here, and to cycle that mode, I need to use both palm buttons. So I'm gonna cycle this in automatic mode. I'm gonna hit both palm buttons. It advances, goes into working mode, dwells and returns. You can see it's a fairly quick press. If I, from a safety standpoint, cycle it, and I break the plane, it stops. Then hit reset, and I will have to return the uh, press to the zero position. To operate in manual mode, I turn the switch to the left, position one. The manual light comes on, and then I have all my parameters as I uh, showed before. Then I will be using the palm buttons once again. So to initiate the cycle, press, hold the palm buttons, and you can see that it's advancing at a very slow speed. This is a safety feature. So it only advances at 13 millimeters per second. And this is used for individual pressings or primarily for uh, setup processes. So when I take my uh, hands off the palm button, it stops. If I want to return the press, I hit the ram up button and it goes. Ram up, and there we go. For safety features, you have an e-stop on the main control panel. You have an e-stop on the main pendant. And then you also have the sick photo cells on both sides of the of the front working area to control uh, the piston, so if somebody breaks the uh, the plane, it stops automatically. Some other simple features, you have an operational light that blinks when it's in operation. And then on top, you have an analog pressure manometer, even though the pressure does read out on the main buyer control during operation. So this is a press designed and manufactured according to uh, RHTC specifications. Uh, RHTC produces nothing but top quality presses um, and uh, they, they stand behind their machines. Uh, we're happy to be selling them here in the UK based in Warwickshire. Uh, we, as you can see, we keep quite a few presses in stock and we sell quite a, a few presses throughout the UK. So uh, come and talk to us about your press requirements. Any press we sell can be customized, uh, custom tables, custom controls, uh, tooling, whatever you need, we can do it. And all of our sales and services are uh, based out of, uh, out of Kenilworth and Warwickshire. <laughs>